Thanks to community member Ichiro for asking if you could turn on the camera over the USB cable. There is many examples of this technique in the community. Uh, it might be better to put the camera to sleep and wake it up from sleep, but sometimes people want to turn on the camera because the camera has locked or they've lost power to their, their system. Because of the cost difference between the Z1 and the SC2, there was also some discussion around the SC2. I did some tests to answer the question. It does appear possible to actually boot the SC2 using the power from the USB cable if the computer was locked up. For power control, the SC2 does not have as much support as the Z1. Although you can cycle the power on the computer, on the USB port of the computer, and the SC2 will turn on, uh, you can't use the USB API with the SC2 to turn it off or to wake it up from sleep or put it to sleep. This test was done with a Jetson Nano SC2 running firmware 1.64. On the Z1, I used firmware 2.00.1. I have libptp and ptp cam running on a Jetson Nano with Jetpack 4.4. First test of uh, using the Rico Theta SC2 with the Jetson Nano. The camera is in a powered off condition. I'm going to attempt to plug the USB cable in and we'll see whether it powers on. So the camera does power on when you plug the USB cable in. So I've been trying to shut down the power of the Rico Theta SC2 with the USB API and it does not appear to be working. So there may be no way to shut it down. However, if it does lock. Doesn't look like it's working. Current problem, I can't turn off the SC2 when the, um, the Justin Nano is plugged into Justin Nano. It'll start back up immediately. So now I have the Justin Nano off. Let's assume it crashed or something. And then the camera, let's assume it has lost power. So I'm going to turn the camera off right now. So the camera is not a power off state of the long press on it. And then let's see what happens when we power on the nano. So the nano is booting. Oh. The camera booted. So the nano is booting. And the camera also booted. So fortunately the uh, SC2 doesn't seem to be working with the, the sleep commands here. So the type which does appear to work with the Theta Z1. Zero one is sleep, and it says it succeeded, but the the camera is not in sleep. So if I manually put the camera to sleep here, so now the camera is in sleep, and I try to pass it the code for zero zero. The 
can't find it, the camera here. And the camera remains in sleep. So there's a baseline, we're going to test it with the Z1 and see what happens. And it does go to sleep. So now the camera is asleep. And zero, zero, I think it's on. And then it does wake up from sleep. So I'm going to try it again. Zero, one, sleep, right? Is zero one sleep? Okay, let's try again. Okay, it went to sleep and zero zero, I think, is wake up. Okay, so zero zero, let's wake it up. And the Z1 does wake up again. The behavior of the Z1 and the SC2 are quite different. So the summary is that the Z1 can wake up from sleep. It can go to sleep with the USB API. It can be powered off with the USB API. And if you reset the USB ports on the Nano, it can power on. Uh, the SC2, you can't put it to sleep with the USB API. Although there is a timer, so you, you could have it go to sleep after a certain amount of time. Uh, it doesn't appear you can wake it up, unfortunately. And then you can't part off, but it does appear that if it does go off, let's say it runs out of battery, the power goes off in your office, uh, you can power it on by resetting the ports of the computer that it's plugged into, potentially just turning on the computer that it's plugged into the camera will come back on.